Hi everyone, this video is an explanation of how to make a Google Earth tour. So I'm starting in my drive because I wanted you to see that when you make a Google Earth tour, you will have the option to save it in your drive, which is really great for students. It's also really great for just organization. It's easy to find once you've created a project, it's saved right to your drive. And then you can easily share it from your drive. You can share it with other people, you can get the link. And so that's a really great function of Google Earth Tours. So what you'll need to do if you've never created a Google Earth Tour before is you will need to go to Google Earth. And the way you can do that is by going to google.earth.com or you could Google search Google Earth and you can go to the site that way. So I wanted to show you when you search Google Earth and you go to the site, you'll have this uh, opening page that's asking you to launch Earth. I go to Google Earth a lot and so it often loads pretty easily for me, but if this is your first time loading Google Earth, it might take a little bit of time to load and it might also depend on your internet. It's a pretty big site, so it might take just a little bit for you to launch. So when you launch Google Earth, you are just going to see uh, probably if you've used this before, the last location you went to, or if you've not done this before, you might have a view of the globe, a satellite view of the Earth. So what you can use Google Earth for, I mean, tons of different things. You can search for locations and you can go visit places that maybe you've never been before all across the globe and use Google Earth satellite to do that, or even their street view to stand on the street somewhere in some other location. But we're going to make a project where we are going to make a tour and we're going to take someone on a tour and we're going to show them places around the world and have a little description about each place. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to go to the menu button and it recognizes me because I'm signed in right now. But you'll need to make sure to sign in to your Google account if you haven't already. Mine, I have some projects already started. You can see I've been kind of playing around with a Modern America project, but I've also made some projects for my students about the civil rights movement and the war in Vietnam. So these are the projects I've been working on. You, when you make one, you'll have your projects here, but you'll also have them in your drive. What you need to do right now is you need to make a new project. So we're going to go to create a project and we want to create it in our drive. So that's where it will save. So I'm going to go to create a project. You'll need to title your project and I'm going to title mine Modern America since that's what my students will be working on. They are going to make a project from the 1970s to the 2000s. And then depending on what you are making, what your project is, you will want to have a description here, uh, maybe to tell your viewers or your audience what your project's about. So then what we want to do is we want to add a feature. We want to add our first tour stop. So you can see it's, it's set me up. I have my title right now and I want to add a feature. You can start with a slide if you want to. Um, some people like to have like a kind of a starting slide, something they want people to see right away. You could make a picture your starting slide. You could have some kind of title as your starting slide if you want to. Um, but I'm actually just going to start just right off with my first location that I want my tour to stop at. So I'm going to start by searching to add a place. So I would like to search to add a place and you can, depending on where you want to go, you could do a little bit of looking first. Like maybe you want to start with a city, Washington DC, and maybe you want to look around a little bit. It'll cover you kind of an aerial view. But if you just type a city, you're going to have a lot to look at. So maybe you know a specific location. That'll be a little bit easier to start with. So maybe I want to go to the Lincoln Memorial. And you might just double check that you're going to the right place. You can see you can go to the reflection pool, which is um, in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Just make sure you know where you're going. I want to go right to the memorial itself. And so it's going to hover me in aerial view right over the Lincoln Memorial. And I know on my tour stop, I want my viewers to not have an aerial view. Now you might want that to them to have an aerial view and that's just fine. But I know I would like my person to stand either on the street or maybe up close. And I want them to see the Lincoln Memorial. So I'll show you how to do that. But first we need to add this to our project as our first stop. So I'm going to click add to project 
And if you want to change your title, if you are have a tour stop name in mind, you can maybe put a date or you can title whatever you would like your first tour stop title to be. They will just default and title it to wherever you're at. They'll just give it that title, but you can make it whatever title you'd like and then save. And you'll notice it will pop up as your first tour stop on your table of contents here. Now we're not ready though. We still have a lot we need to do. So I'm going to cross that out there. We need to pick our view. So let me click on this. I want to edit. So we need to do a couple of things. We need to capture the view we want people to see when they come to this. So I, I could capture this view right here and that would be just fine. Uh, I actually would like to capture a view where someone is standing and looking at the Lincoln Memorial. So I grab my little peg man here and I can put him either on a street, those are the lines, or I could put him on a little dot. The little dots are 360 photos people have taken and uploaded. And so you could actually put your little person right on a dot. So I'm going to put my person on a dot. Oh, and just check this one out. So you could check out a few spots before you capture the view you want. Looks like this person has taken a 360 photo looking at Lincoln. You can kind of turn it around. It was snowing when this person took that. I don't think I want this one as the view that people will look at. So I'm going to try another one. You can take your little peg man and put him on a street or um, you can put him on a dot. Like I said, I'm going to pull it and put him on a dot right here. And then you need to decide exactly how you want people to view this. I like this view right here. So I want people to see this view when they come to my tour stop. So I'm going to put capture this view. So the view has been saved. This is what people will see right when they're dropped to the event. There's a few other things it wants to know. Do you want to change your, um, your place marker? You can change your little place marker. And so th these are some of the, the settings that they have right off the bat for you. What's most important though is this box right here. It says th they will give you the information provided by Google. They'll have like a little description here, but that's not what we want. There will be like a, uh, maybe even just a Wikipedia, some kind of information that'll pop up on the screen right here. We don't want that. We wanna add our own description. We wanna add our own images and our own videos. So we wanna click replace. And so this will take you to the editing section of the description. So you can change the title here. You can upload photos. Photos. You can add your description of this location or this event. If you're doing something for history, you can type about your event here. And so this is where you'll put that information in. You could even link a video in here if you would like to uh, highlight a video and hyperlink a YouTube video if you'd want people to watch something about uh, something going on here. If you'd like to add some photos, you can click on that capture. They actually give you a really easy uh, tool right here. You can search Google straight from, from this upload section. So I could type in um, Lincoln Memorial and see what comes up on Google. Maybe I could pick some pictures here. If I wanted to show Martin Luther King um, giving a speech at the Lincoln Memorial, I could search that here and see maybe I want to put one of those pictures um, and so maybe I want to pick this photo and upload it. You can put multiple photos if you would like more there. You can pick photos that have been uploaded to your computer and so that's where you edit your section. I'm just going to put the word description here so that you can see what it looks like when you're done. Okay so this is how I want my description to pop up so I'm going to go back. So let's see what it looks like. All right, so I'm not really in my present mode. I'm, you can see I'm still in my editing mode here. If I wanted to see what other people were able to view when they were looking at this, if I shared this with someone else, this is what it would look like for them. They would be here at the Lincoln Memorial. They'd see my picture, they'd see my title, and then my description of this event. And then if you want to add more, you come back to our table of content and I can click on new feature and add my next place for my tour. So I might want to add the Korean War Memorial as my next location. Remember, you can search for a bunch of locations before you actually add it to your project. But if I know I want this to be my next location, I'm going to click Add to Project. You can, again, like I said, change the title to whatever you want it to be. When you save it, it will add to your list here of your tour stops. You will then want to edit your tour. So I'm going to edit. And there are some things you need to do to remember. You're gonna capture the view that you want so you can drop your little person wherever you want in front of the Korean War Memorial. 
you're going to capture the view. You then, again, want to replace their default information with your information. So I'm going to capture this as my view that I want. I'm going to replace the information with, I want a description and a photo. I'm going to use my Google search again. Korean War will be my topic. I will just include this photo. And then I can go back and now I have two events. So this is still the editing view. Once I have all my events in the order I want them, I will want to share this. And you can click the share button and you can share it individually with people or you can actually go straight to your drive and you can access this from your drive and share a link from your drive. Remember when people are going to get this, they won't see the editing view that you see. They will see the present mode. So they will see it like this. They'll have your first, whatever your first stop was. They'll have a picture with a description that you created, and then they will be able to sift through your tour by going through the table of contents, and they will get to go to each location you created, and they will get to see what you set up for them and read your descriptions. I hope that was helpful in learning how to make a Google tour on Google Earth.